Yo, what's up? Uh, today's uh, video upload is going to be on a window washing pump that's attached to your washer fluid reservoir on a 2003 Ford Ranger XLT. Um, it's going to be the my vehicle is the V6 3.0 liter, but you can probably also do it on the other variants of Ford Rangers from like I believe it's 94 to 2005 you'll have to double check that and also um, possibly on your Mazda 2000s 3000s and 4000s but probably this will be the equivalent of the uh, Mazda 3000 it'll be the same engine size V6 3 liter um, this is the package that the uh, washer pump came in tri coat spray 11521 the parts that was included on that package is the pump itself and then the gasket slash strainer people call it a gasket but it's a pretty you could you could say it's a gasket and also a strainer that is the strainer this is the brand new one that came in the package um the your original one that was in the uh, reservoir uh, was still uh, usable so I went ahead and um, cleaned it and reused it so with that being said this is your um, reservoir unit that's attached to the radiator coolant reservoir it's all uh, two separate units but it's also shared it's pretty much just um, a shared unit split into two coolant is on this side of the front of the engine bay and then this is your washer fluid reservoir unit over here you have your washer pump which is right here and then here's your pigtail that gives the pump the power to operate then you're gonna have four, you're gonna have three um, bolts and then one washer, oh, I'm sorry, one nut to hold this whole unit down. You're gonna have one over here on the bottom between the reservoir and the air box, which I wasn't able to get to, so I kinda just left it alone. So I went ahead and just unbolted the two here and the inner fender well, fender wall or engine bay wall I'm sorry and then the nut over here so and the sizes for the nut I believe it was an 8 millimeter or a 10 and then the two bolts on the inside over here were 8s or 10s you're, you're gonna need both 8 millimeter and 10 millimeter I, mean, I don't remember um, which they go to but you're gonna need those two um, and then so once you got those two you're gonna need to unfasten the pigtail here um, once you've loosened up the reservoir you can kind of just lift it a little bit from like here kind of just pull up on a little bit a little bit if you're able to get that one off even better because you actually be able to just lift it up and just pull the pump out it'll be a lot easier what I did like I said I just kind of just pulled it up a little and then reached down on the side in here after disconnecting the pigtail, um, I just pulled off the pump, pulled the pump away, and then cleaned out that um, strainer, cleaned the strainer out, and it was good, reused it. So after that, put it back in, um, let me see, what else, put it back in, clean, uh, after cleaning it, plugged it back, tightened everything up. And then I tested it. Now I had to replace this thing because obviously it stopped operating. And I've owned this truck for about three years now. Since I've owned it, um, the pump at first it didn't make any noises, but after about a few months of like operating, it started making like a winding noise. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I didn't think much of it. And then, you know, it just made the whining noise. I figured, you know, it was probably normal. I didn't really think about it much because, you know, 
it wasn't that important. So it ended up just making that winding noise and it just, it was there. And then finally my, I was no longer getting any like spray, like any water. So I was like, okay, damn. I figured it was probably like the actual, like the motor that operates the window washer arms. But no, it wasn't that. It just turned out that it has a separate um, washer pump, which is actually right here. And so I replaced it and I tested it and there was no noise. So just so for future reference um, for myself, if it starts making that noise on this vehicle or any other vehicle, and now I know the pump is going out. Now for you to know, if you start noticing a winding noise, or just a whining noise, whatever, uh, when you operate, you know, your wiper mode, your wipers, and it's spraying and you hear that sound, that means it's gonna, it's giving out and it's gonna end up giving up on you. It's not, you're gonna need it eventually, you'll have to replace it. So once you start hearing that sound, replace it. Because with the new one, it doesn't make no sound at all. It's, it is quiet. And actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and do a quick test for you so you know how quiet it sounds. Okay, you know what? I take that back. It does make some kind of a sound, but it's not as loud as it was with the older unit. So it does make some kind of sound. But anyways, yeah. So it does make some kind of sound, but it will get louder as it begins to fail. And then once it fails, well, then that's it. You'll have to replace it. So um, yeah, the sound it makes before it goes out, um, replaced it. Uh, I don't have the the original unit to show you but you could just google search you know that number 11521 washer pump it's specific for this um vehicle you can look it up you'll see what it looks like um it's really a really easy replacement even for a beginner all you gotta do is just give yourself a little bit of time some patience um like i said replace take off remove the bolts, the three bolts, and the one, uh, the one nut. Re remove those, lift it up a little bit, just kind of just back it off from the reservoir. It's real easy, um, real easy, not even hard at all. Anyone can do it. A 12 year old could probably do it. Anyone can do it. So once you re remove it, Put the new one in. I used a little bit of dielectric grease on the um, on the um, the gasket area where the the rubber makes contact with the reservoir. I put a l very little bit of dielectric grease on there, just so it will slide in easy without any problems. So it doesn't kind of like bend or anything. It went in real easy, and then also the same with the pump where it slides into the gasket area. I put a little bit of dielectric grease, just very little bit, just so enough that it gives it some kind of, like, where there's no friction when it's sliding in. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Um, slowly but surely, I will be uploading some more videos on stuff on, these, uh, on this vehicle and my two other vehicles. It's a slow process, things are real busy, but eventually I will get back to it um, but other than that with this view that's how you do it this is going to conclude the how to on a window washer fluid pump for a 2003 Ford Ranger once again here is your number 11521 this will be the specific pump number 
for your uh, 2003 Ford Ranger 95 94 95 all the way to 2005 V6 that would be the number for any of those vehicles but you might want to double check it anyway all right anyways thank you